Hello everyone, my name is Christine, Senior Regional Engineer at Epson Southeast Asia. In this episode, I will be showing you how to set up the simple blending function. Before we begin, let's first understand what simple blending is used for. Simple blending allows you to combine the projected images from two projectors to create one horizontally wide seamless image using the Epson ELP EZ01 external camera module without the need for a PC with an expensive graphics card to do the blending. You will only need a normal PC to display your content as seen here. What's more, this function is accessible from the projector menu. There is no need to purchase additional software to do the blending, saving time and cost. Here are the models that support simple blending function. To start the simple blending process, first, link the two projectors together on the same network using LAN connection. Next, select a master projector. The master projector should be the model with lower brightness. Go to the master projector's menu setting, select extended, then multi-projection, and then simple blending. Press enter to start. Select the location of the master projector. In this scenario, my master projector is the unit on the left side, so I will select the A1 location. Select the image aspect under whole screen aspect setting for the merge white image. Once done, select start auto adjustment. The blend width will be automatically set to match the aspect of the merge image. The adjustment will take approximately 4 minutes to complete. After the auto adjustment is complete, you can also use the lens shift or zoom functions to correct and adjust the shape of the image. Lastly, adjust the tint and brightness of the whole image using screen matching settings. Click on the skip button to go back to the main menu and select screen matching. The screen matching adjustment will take approximately 12 minutes to complete. As you can see, the steps are very simple and adjustment is seamless without much in-depth technical skill set required. Moreover, simple blending doesn't require a PC with special graphics card, thus making it ideal as a budget-friendly option. We have come to the end of this video. I hope that you find this tutorial video to be informative and useful. Thank you.